Today in this video we will learn about if your WordPress installation shows your data inside domain slash WP folder then in that case how to fix this issue. While opening your website if you are able to see something like this which means your data is located inside WP folder then you have installed your WordPress in the wrong directory. Now the solution is that if your website is newly installed and has no data in it then you can simply reinstall your WordPress in correct folder that is public underscore HTML and if your website has some data in it then in that case move your WordPress website from WP folder to original public underscore HTML. Now for a newly installed website which has no data, simply log into cPanel and then go to Softaculous. Now here, click over all installations. Now here, in front of your WordPress installation, you can simply click over cut mark in order to uninstall this WordPress. Now after uninstallation, again install your WordPress by not repeating that same mistake again. Which means here, be careful that you simply delete this WP inside in directory. If you forget to delete this WP written inside in directory, again same problem will repeat. Now fill up further information as usual and then go ahead with the installation procedure. In this way you will be successfully able to install WordPress without any issue. Now if your website is having data then in that case you cannot simply reinstall your WordPress easily. Therefore go to cPanel and then you need to move all your contents inside WP folder. Now first of all move all the contents to public underscore HTML. Now check your wp-config.php file by clicking over view. Now from here you need to note down your database name and then go to phpMyAdmin inside cPanel. Further, you can export the database into the SQL file by selecting the same database which you saw earlier in wp-config.php file. Once you have exported this SQL file and saved it into your local PC, now open that file in notepad++ or simply inside notepad and replace domain slash wp with domain. Make sure you write your domain, here we are taking our domain as an example. Now remove all the previous files from database inside phpMyAdmin. You simply need to click over drop. Select all the database contents tables and simply drop it. Now further import the updated SQL file again inside that database. This updated file contains the replaced keywords of domain slash wp into domain. Once the SQL file is imported successfully, now if you check your website, you will find that your website is successfully transferred to public underscore html without any issue.